So moving from green, uh, from the existing to the green digital. First of all, most organization, the larger you are, the, the older company you are, there are many, many applications lying around. Some of them are legacy, some you just keeping up, they are spending energy and not creating much value. We can retire them, we can consolidate these small things, put them into a cloud in a smaller space or, or to the dedicated hosting. We can find out from this legacy system some of the components that are, are really energy inefficient and replace only these parts and it is good enough to, to continue for some years. So the main thing, the main recommendation is to look at how to move into cloud because cloud provides us more options to build more sustainable solutions. Without cloud, it is more, um, let's say, it is more difficult and expensive. But cloud by default isn't sustainable as well. And it requires a separate skill to optimize the cloud. And of course, for this, we need uh, skills and, and knowledge and experience. And the fourth point that I want to mention, something that uh, we in Helmes especially look into, is how in the software development we can apply this green mindset to agile and lean development. So agile and lean, the go-to uh, principles, frameworks, methodologies that every professional and a great software team uses. Agile is about creating value as quickly as possible. True iteration. You create something, you test it, okay, uh, use it, what works, change, iterate, and continue. Lean is about creating value, but understanding how to do it with fewer resources. And it's about eliminating waste. Now, when we adopt the green mindset, and green is about minimizing environmental harm, we get down to three main principles and three main activities that we need to do. First of them is how to build energy efficient systems. And in lay, lay person terms, it means how to build a system that takes less electricity. It's as simple as that. Usually it's done through optimization. The second uh, aspect is how to make sure that it is hardware efficient. So why will we can make efficient system, but still kind of use extra hardware, it doesn't make sense. So how to ensure that we need even less physical resources? That might be a little bit about smart green architecture. And third point is, since there are a lot of dirty energy around the world, how to build systems that are energy intelligent? So how to use cleaner energy? How to build a kind of an intelligence inside of the system that when they are doing a lot of computation and processing that, that uh, consumes a lot of power, that they know they will prefer to use cleaner energy. They run maybe during night, maybe they are running in a distributed mode that consumes less energy or, or cleaner energy. All of these aspects can be implemented into the software if we use the green mindset and can have dramatic effect.